Hey guys, JCM here, and this is Fishing Planet. And uh, today I'm gonna go bass fishing. I'm gonna go down here to Lone Star Lake, and we're gonna go for that son of a bitch right there. So, spotted bass is native to Mississippi River Basin. <laughs> I'm not gonna read all that. Uh, I want to look at this. Yeah. Ain't that pretty? It's a pretty damn good 3D model, too. Though, I think the fins and stuff should be more transparent. But it's still beta, so. So, there's two ways that I've learned to fish from Blue Star Lake. And I'm already level 24, and I'm, I've already spent all my money trying to uh, trout fish over here at Rocky Lake and I kind of I didn't even break even there's a problem with this place you know it's level 8 but costs 3,000 in uh, uh, you know expenses to uh, get over there and you don't even f get that much money in fish at all I mean, they pay out maybe 50 to 100 bucks at best and uh, I just, I could barely make a thousand at the end of it. I've, I don't know, it's, it, they, need, they need to fix that. Just, just in case the devs are watching, you know, dumb down the uh, travel costs for uh, Rocky Lake. Because <laughs> I ain't going back there. It's just not worth the effort. But Lone Star Lake uh, bass fishing is a good low level um, money maker, and I'm going to go do that. So, and, uh, I. I hope I got the right setup. I got two rods, one lure and one bait. So we're gonna try them both. And uh, with luck, I can get some bias. So let's head over there. All right, so. Now I do know on sunny days, uh, the bass love to sit in the, right in the middle of this lake, right in here. But on cloudy days, um, it's, I think they're scattered or something. So it's like another cloudy day. Well, partly cloudy. So it's going to be tr tricky. It's going to be tricky for me. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is try lure fishing. And right now is a good time to sit in the peak of the morning. So we're going to get in there and get some. Hoorah! All these motherfuckers have taken out the damn bridge. So, I'm gonna go this way. I find this is a good spot. So. Alright, so I'm gonna figure out my lures here. You know, I have not tried these. The rule of thumb with bass, at least in this uh, on this map here, is that they go for basically anything colorful or shiny. It doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna look for the splashes. So I'm gonna first try in the middle of the lake and work my way around. And you didn't see that. <laughs> God. Oh, and also I'm not using my face cam on this video because I'm been having some weird issues. I might have to update the software or something, but it keeps freezing up. So, no face cam in this video either. I think I'll do a stop and go method here. Keep it low to the bottom. Now, I used to do a lot of bass fishing when I was young, back in California. Man, that was fun. I love the way they fight and this, you know, the the, the way they uh jerk on the pole and stuff and it's just really fun. <laughs> so 
So, here's our first fish. Ooh. Ow, man, that's, oof, it's barely, it's just over a pound. <laughs> a pound and an ounce, really. But yeah, see, this is what I'm going for here. And it pays out, paid me out uh, 120, and I'm on a uh, premium account for nine bucks, which I think is a good damn deal, considering most other games are 14 or 15 bucks a month. So I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, there's a. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right there. So this is, so far I've been really enjoying this game. Though when you need to money grind, it can be really, f <laughs> yeah, uh, like a little literal grind. It's just it gets monotonous after a while. I was over in uh, Rocky Lake trying to get one of those golden trouts, because I don't, I don't, I've never caught one of those, and I just couldn't get one on a hook. Just couldn't. Oh, here we go. It's a jumper. It's a jumper. I love the graphics in this game. You can see the fish in the water. Look at that. Oh, that's so wonderful. Oh, that's a big boy. Alright. So I'm actually having better luck in the middle of the lake than I thought I would. For, at least for the video. <laughs> but that could change here. So stop and go seems like a go. Is this a good go-to method uh, that I find for most predatory fish? I've I can't for the life of me figure out how to do lift and drop. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you're supposed to reel in and jerk up and then let it go down. I go. Oh, see, yeah. You got one dot on that. I'm doing it wrong, damn it. Reel in, lift up, stop reeling and let it drop. So let's try that again. Nope. Set it. How about now? Yeah, see, I don't know how to do that. That's too much thinking. I don't do thinking good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, a little bit more. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna reel it in and start over. Oh, you guys see that? There's little minnows or something in there. You guys see that? That is so cool. Yeah, look at that guy. Look at that guy right there, right, right there. Oh, that is so cool. I, I can't believe they simulated that. That is so nice of them. All right, one thing I definitely want to show you guys. I'm gonna switch over to my bait fishing pole. Excuse me. Excuse me. And by the way, the avatars in this game really suck ass. They're really cookie cutter. There's only about four or five faces and ha four hairstyles. It, it it really needs work. Oh man. But I'm gonna show you here. We're on the bridge. I'm in the middle, right next to this these weeds, and we're gonna plop this right in there, where all those little splashes are, because that is a like like a secret spot where I always get bass when I use bait. We're going to use small minnows here and we're going to uh, sit here and wait and see what we can catch. I have my lead at about 50 inches. I used to have it on 30 but I think uh, the deeper the better. I'm not sure. We're, so we're going to try this at 50 and then uh, maybe at max and see what happens.
I can usually tell. Oh, come on. Really? Alright, bring it out there. But usually when the minnow starts swimming around like that, it means something's after it, and you're about to get a bass or, or a pickerel or a pike. So. You see, when it starts moving around like that in the little circles, you get, get ready on the controls. So, so just, just saying. <laughs> Some of the splashes I've seen over the next spot are frogs. There are frogs rendered in the game. I have seen them jumping around. And little shiners and minnows. They like to jump out of the water too. So, that is, a, that is one of my favorite spots for bait fishing for bass. I used to do calf fishing here, but it doesn't pay as much. Oh, come on, damn it. Bite. Alright, I'm going to bring uh, the minnow up uh, to about 30 inches in lead. That should get some attention. Reel it in faster, of course. Alright, I'm bringing it up to about 30. I got a number one hook on it. That seems to do well. It keeps the smaller fishes from getting getting and running off. So we're gonna keep doing that. Now I don't know if it's still on sale or not, but I bought the seventeen dollars um, pack. I forgot what it was. I'll show it to you guys in a little while at the end of the video. But it basically came basically just came with a oh yeah something was after it. It came with um, about two or three setups. Oop, here we go. Came with two or three setups for bass, trout, and uh, big fish uh, fishing. And it's really nice, but my problem is that all the poles and reels are all white colored and black. And it makes it really confusing to know which is which. Oh, do you see that guy jump? That was a big thing, whatever it was. Alright, I'm gonna go here one more time. Oh man, I over do I You don't want it in the lilies, you want it right there in the middle where all the splashing is. So yeah. I think something's going to happen. It's moving around a lot. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see, what did we get this time? Alright. Well... As long as it pays me a hundred bucks or more, I'm, I'm happy. Alright. We're going to go back to lure fishing. And I'm going to try from the bridge this time. Let's see here. Did I bring cup bait with me? So I was thinking of doing a little fishing for... Uh, uh, I want to say pork, but that's the wrong word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's fish for pork. <laughs> uh, perch, I think. I think it's perch. It's like a bottom feeder, but it's really big and it's fun to fish. 
I think you can eat it. I'm not sure. Right, I gotta do stop and go. I'm not paying attention. Stop and go. Stop and go. Hello. We got something. It's not fighting very much. What the hell's on it? What the hell is on that? <laughs> okay, I got a bluegill. Maybe I should look at something else here. Let me try the spinner bait. So now, well, let's look at my pole real quick. Let's see. Polo is the jig winner, seven foot ten inch. Uh, lure weight one six to five eighth ounce, and see. I always look at the line weight, three to twelve pound, and that's what I got here on my uh, reel is an actual twelve pound line. I think it was a mono. Yeah, mono. Okay. So in the reel, um, I just bought today because I there was nothing. That did both, uh, uh, so yeah, I don't have anything that does both um, lures and bait fishing, so I got that one. But apparently, also need the right pole for doing for being a di uh, versatile, I think. And I don't know if I have any poles that are versatile, but this this reel is versatile. So what the hell is it? Well, it's whatever this thing is, the Espi Spiral ML R3500. So I picked that up and it's a level 23 reel. So whatever, it works. <laughs> All right, let's try the spinner bait. Half ounce, number two, zero hook. And see what, what we can get out of here with that. <coughs> and I'm sorry, my voice has been sounding really mono and monotone lately and stuff. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm just out of shape or something. I haven't been going to the gym in the last week or so. And uh, my energy has just been kaput. So, I'm doing my best, though. Me and my dad are trying to gear up to go fishing here, but his back went out just today. And we were supposed to leave uh, this Monday. Well, I guess something? Ha ha ha! Ha 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 I'm an expert fifth man. They practically drill for my hook. Ooh, that's not dirty. Well, never mind. <laughs> All right, not bad, not bad. But yeah, um, we were. I was gonna go out camping. I got a new action camera, a fifty-dollar action camera because I'm low income. And uh, his back goes out, and we're, so we're not going to go for another week. We're delayed another fucking week. So I'm sorry, for guys, but shit happens. So, and, and I need content for this channel. So that's why I'm doing this video. <laughs> I never thought I'd be doing less play videos for my camping channel, but here we are. <laughs> And uh, I think you're supposed to at least upload a video at least once a month just to keep the channel alive and keep YouTube from dumping it or something. Oh, please don't be a bluegill. Nope, it's a bass. It's a wonderful little bass. Mm. Yeah, that, this 12 pound line might be too heavy. I don't think I have anything. Yeah, I didn't pack anything. All right, never mind. So yeah. So how many do I have now? Let's go to my fish keeper. Ooh, I made a thousand bucks. All right. What's the biggest one? Two pound. And that's that's about it. Two pounds and eight and eight grams or ounces. It's probably grams. So yeah, so I'm doing pretty good. Now, just to prove it's probably not to lure specifically, but I do have a lot of luck with it. We're gonna try 
You know what? Let me check the uh, fish species here. Oh, you know what? That's what I want to go fish for, bait fish for. Let's, let's do that. Yeah, I'll see nothing. Uh, oh, I didn't pack anything for them. God damn it. I have to go home. Alright, let's go home. <laughs> so, yeah, I got premium and I made a good profit there. I didn't even get that many fish. Alright, alright. Alright. Oop, oh. Nope. Do they eat? I've, I gotta look at the fish species. Hold on. So catfish, love, pet food, leeches, cup bait, blood. What are they vampires? Buffalo. Some mol uh, no, molina balls. Um, bloodworms. Okay. Corn. Bloodworms. I think I got bloodworms. Red worms? Where are the blood worms? Night crawlers. I don't have any blood worms. Huh. Alright, I'll pack the cup bait. Uh, the corn. Oh, shire carp, man. Pet food? Yeah. Alright, but I don't have any blood worms. Red worms, not crawlers, grasshoppers, blood worms. Do I really want to buy those fuckers? Yes, yes I do. All right. Oh, they're already in the backpack. Okay, let's head back and try some f catfish and carp. Uh, hello. Like, bruh, I caught the biggest catfish today, bruh. You just wouldn't believe it, bruh. Is that the moon? Huh? No, that's the sun, you dumb stoner. <laughs> oh, man, he took my spot. Yeah, let's do it here. Alright, so let's see. I'm get my hook. I think for the carp, the buffalo, uh, I'm gonna go around uh, number six hook. I want about probably 80 liter. And we are going to try. Let's see here. Yeah. I'm gonna try the dough balls. All right, wish me luck, guys. All right. Ooh, it's twitching. It's already twitching. You see that bomber icon up in the upper right? Yeah, it's already twitching. All right, wish me luck. Luck, I'll, uh, I won't, um, so everything, I'll add it down for time and you know, keep you guys from getting bored. <laughs> oh! I was playing with my spider and got a bite. It's up on the wall of my little uh, clear cage here and I was just tapping on it. <laughs> Alright, what do we get? Are you fucking kidding me? Whatever. Alright. Maybe not these balls here. Maybe these balls. Maybe you'll like my balls here. Let's try my balls on these guys here. <laughs> what the fuck am I on? Ugh. Okay, um... So, uh, the last half of that... Uh, video I made. Uh, I left the freaking mute button on my mic, so um, it was pretty much unusable. <laughs> and basically, I just didn't catch anything 
No carb, no buffaloes, no catfish or anything. And I, I think I was supposed to do that in early in the morning anyway or something. But I don't know. Uh, I just gave up. Uh, but yeah, so it was all useless footage anyway. But anyway, what I wanted to show you here was uh, the uh, um, DLC I bought that has really helped me out. And it was on sale for 17 bucks. And it's called the um, Ang Pro Angler Sport Bundle. Pro I don't see it here. But I got it for seventeen dollars. I don't know if it's on sale anymore, but it really helped me out. And what it gave me here is <clears throat> uh, all right. It gave me the uh, heavy casting pack, a heavy reel, and a uh, rod, and some uh, uh, crank bait, and some uh, lures here, and some line for it. I got. Uh, 35 and 40 pound line for it and uh, I'm gonna use that later when I go bigger uh, go for the salmon and stuff and uh, the, uh, the other one I got was the bass pack and it gave me a bunch of bass lures and some line and a, a rod and reel uh, well they're here in the description here so and they also gave me the, all the bass jigs that I have. And I did pack those with me and I forgot to try them out at the lake. I'm sorry, I forgot to try them out. <laughs> I packed them too. I'm sorry, I totally forgot about them. But uh, the other uh, kit that comes with it is the uh, tr uh, trout pack. And it came, came with uh, some, uh, what are they called? Oh boy, what are they called? Um, jig heads, uh, some uh, nano spoons, and spinners. So it came with all that and its own line too. So it's a whole kit in itself. And I've actually taken that to Rocky Lake and used it, uh, especially this one here, to uh, uh, fish for trout. And I, and I filled up my uh, fish net with trout, but I still did not cover the three thousand dollars in travel costs, so I actually lost money in that trip. So, yeah, and it gets sport float pack. Um, yeah, it has everything here. It comes with some stuff if you don't already have it. I didn't have the that the the, the, the uh, salmon eggs, and I didn't have the. Uh, what is it called? Uh, it doesn't want to list it. Oh, Fish Cabin XS Plus. Now you, I'm using that currently. It has a gross weight of uh, 66 pounds, so I can pack a shit ton of fish in it, and I love it. And what else? Um, that I'm using that, and uh, I used to use that uh, rod case but man I, I, I assembled all the rods in this uh, D DLC and I couldn't keep track of which was which and what to use it, they were all so confusing they're all the same colors the same looks and I, I just didn't know which one was for what type of fishing so I just took it all back home <laughs> and uh, I only use one rod for uh, basically one fishing pole for any given purpose I custom make it I sort it out the rod the reel and the line and everything and I just head out to wherever I'm going and just fish with that from now on because keeping five poles and shit is just too confusing I just can't keep track of it I'm too dumb I'm a moron so like and subscribe um, my opinion on this game I am enjoying it. I thought it would be more crappy than it, it is, but I haven't really played very many fishing simulators either, but uh, if my opinion matters to you, then definitely get this game. It's free to play, but you do gotta buy stuff with real money here and there, but you can play it for free, and uh, 
yeah it, and based on uh, my experience with real fishing it seems pretty spot on I think they really do simulate realistic fishing as far as I can tell you gotta pay attention to the time of day and the weather if it's sunny or cloudy and uh, yeah the tackle you're using and the rod and reel you're using it really seems to matter and uh, yeah so I'm I'm impressed what map is that I've not seen that map before we were just there but I don't recognize that one huh anyway so like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys in another video whenever I can crank them out. <laughs>